What's up? What's up? Here we come. All right, streaming live here in the Idea Lab. Good morning. Good morning, Idea Lab. I am super excited to be here for day one of the Build Your Authority Challenge. I am just going to wait a few minutes here and see if anybody hops on live. Facebook has been interesting lately as far as people seeing content. Um, yeah, maybe that's something we'll talk about one day too. All right, if you're joining me, live say hello in the comments please so I know who I'm talking to I love to tailor whatever value I'm giving to my audience so welcome welcome everyone to day one of the build your authority challenge today good morning Alicia um, we today we are going to go over the foundations of building your authority and your brand Online, offline, doesn't matter. Um, so, number one, hello, hello, Matta. Uh, I am Suzanne Taylor. I am a business strategist, holistic life coach, and the entrepreneur's secret weapon. A client called me that about a year ago, and I loved it, and I'm sticking with it. Roberta says hello. Denise says hey. Uh, Matta says good morning, Christine. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm super excited for today. And so if you don't know me and you want to know more about my story, head over to my website, the tailored consulting agency.com or Suzanne Taylor King.com. Both takes you to the same place. I don't want to spend too much time talking about what we're doing and how we're going to do it. I want to get right into dropping the value bombs. So when you're trying to build your authority, and what does that mean? Um, well, I like to think of it as people knowing who you are, knowing your name, and knowing what you do and how you can help them. Um, by showing up, whether in person or online and giving value, you can be seen as the authority doing what you do. So let me know in the comments. Uh, Kayla, good morning. Um, Gita's here, awesome, awesome. So let me know in the comments, everybody who's here live, and if you're catching the replay, hashtag replay, let me know what value you bring to the table and then we're going to jump in to our content here for day one now i'm going to be here live from today till next friday all different times check the events tab uh tomorrow is a special live between 10 and 11 not sure probably about 10 and i'm going to be dropping some to do things for the weekend to get you out because we're coming out of this pandemic, thank God, right? All right, so let's jump into the content today. Uh, your foundation for building your authority, are you ready for this one, is money. I know, I know it's an uncomfortable topic, but it wasn't until I got comfortable with the value exchange and asking for money for my services that my business started to take off and listen people don't respect you if they're getting everything for free oh <gasps> i know shocking right but i spent years giving everything i had for free and there was no reason for people to pay me so let me know in the comments what value you bring and if you're ready to step into your authority and get paid, not laid, paid for what you do. Let me know in the comments. Yes, Alicia says yoga and healing coach. Awesome. All right, come on. Let me see in the comments 
what value you bring to the table, and if you're ready to get paid for bringing that value. So the foundation of building your authority is being comfortable with asking for money in exchange for the value that you bring. Now, if you're seeking more money in your business, here's what you need to do. First, you'll never be the authority in your business or doing what you do without respecting money. So let's start right there. If you don't respect money, take a head back and look in your bank account. And if it's low, it's because you don't respect money. Number two, if you want more money and you want to get paid for what you do, yes, <laughs> we all want to get paid for what we do, you must respect money and yourself. So if you feel like a fraud, if you feel like you're faking it till you make it, you are not going to feel like the authority and you're not going to feel confident enough to ask for money in exchange for your services. Let me know how that's landing. Let me know. All right. Denise says she's a CEO of Living Healthy List. Christine says she's a lifestyle strategist. Love that. Living toxic free. Roberta. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Keep it coming. Let me know about the respecting money thing. So number three foundation with respecting money so you can build your authority is money is the reflection of the value that you bring to the table. Now, let me repeat that. Money is the reflection of the value that you're bringing to the table. If you want more money, bring more value. So let's wrap your head around that. If you're a coach like me, how can I bring more value than <laughs> tons of other business coaches? I offer for my clients a whole bunch of done for you services. So I'm a coach. I and and I have this extra value that my team can provide. So how can you bring more value in what you're doing online, offline, or to your paying clients? Let's start thinking about that. So that leads me to, that's the foundation of building your authority. If you're with me so far, give me a hell yes in the comments. Awesome, awesome. I want to first start off this challenge by saying, I see you. You're not doing anything wrong. For years, I thought I was doing something wrong. You know, everybody looks like such a success on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. God, they have to be a millionaire, right? And that comparison-itis kind of held me back from doing so much in my business. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. So that's the first thing to remember. You're not doing anything wrong. And it doesn't have to be hard. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Hell no, it's not going to be easy, but it doesn't have to be hard if you pay attention to people who have actually done it, who have actually had businesses, who have actually had some success online, who have actually sold things via email or direct message or from the stage. So it doesn't have to be hard. Let that sink in. So this week, what we're going to jump into, we're going to find your message. Find that unique thing that will help you build your authority. We're going to be able to, by next Friday, explain your expertise in a way that your ideal customer understands. All right, let me know in the comments who your ideal customer is if you don't know put a question mark in the comments and i will share a ideal client activity 
with you. I'm all about giving even more value. So if you don't know who your ideal client is, you're going to find out before Monday so we can work on building that expertise. Okay? Make sense? So if you don't know who your ideal client is, question mark in the comments. And if you do, let me know in the comments who your ideal client is. Age, some, some, uh, you know, little things about them, male, female, um, their age, what hobbies they like to do, where do they hang out, what books do they read, what hobbies do they have. Uh, Roberta, a little too broad, someone who wants to live healthy. No, let's get really granular. Name her. What's she look like? What hobbies does she have? Where does she hang out online, offline? What books does she read? What is she curious about? All of those things. Alicia said, I work with professional women. Let's go a little bit deeper than that. Name her. How much does she make? What books is she reading? Where is she hanging out online? What movies does she watch? Um, Steve says, oh, good morning, Steve. Uh, married couples with children, 30 to 50, preferably homeowners. Excellent, excellent. What books do they read, Steve? What movies do they watch? Where do they hang out online? What hobbies do they have? Where do they go on vacation? By knowing all of these things about your ideal client, I wasn't planning on talking about that in so much detail today, but since we're going there, when you know all of these things about your ideal client, you can hang out with them. You can go where they go. You can talk about the things they're talking about. So that helps you be seen as that authority in your field. Christine says, people looking for healthy alternatives to every product. Yes, 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 yes. How old are they? Where do they hang out online? What books are they reading? What authors do they love? What movies do they love? Okay. So, third thing we're going to do this week, I'm going to let you know if you're if you're not making at least a thousand dollars a month in your business, this challenge is not for you. And I, I like to preface that because if you haven't at least started exchanging money for your services or your knowledge. You're not ready to build your authority. There's so many steps you need to do before building your authority. So for those of you that don't know who your ideal client is, it's really important before we move on to next week for you to do the ideal client activity. And I will post that here in the group. And if you put question mark like Gita did, I'll send you that document. Uh, via Google Drive, and you can get working on your ideal client. So now we're going to go into, so we talked about the three things we're going to do this week. We're going to find your message. We're going to explain your expertise, and you're going to know exactly what you do that's valuable, that can change lives, and how to add more value to those people. Make sense? Yep. Yay. So excited. All right. Let's decide right now, because we're, I don't want this to go on too much longer. I really want these videos every day to be quick and to the point. So let's decide right now on this Friday before a beautiful weekend. Let's decide that we are going to communicate exactly what we do and the value we bring to the table so that that ideal client totally understands. So when I say to you, I'm the entrepreneur's secret weapon, ooh, what does that mean? And the beautiful thing is it can mean whatever that person needs it to mean. It could mean help with your life. It could mean help with your nutrition. It could mean help with your habits and your morning routine and your exercise and your meditation. Like I have all those resources, right? But it could also mean help with your business. It could mean insights, ideas. Like there's so many places you can go with that. So 
I want you to decide right now that by this time next Friday, you are going to be able to communicate clearly with your ideal client exactly the value that you bring to the table. So what I need now is decide in the comments. Decide, all in capitals, decide in the comments. Let's get it, let's get it going. I'm going to decide that this week I'm gonna do those things because it's only with that decision to do things differently that things actually change. Okay, so what you need to bring to the table this week, you need the confidence, of course my dog's gonna say hello, you need the confidence over the next week to stand firmly in the value that you bring to the table. And if you're struggling with confidence, if you're struggling with what value you actually bring to the table, let me know in the comments and we can go a little bit deeper on that in the special training at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So that is it for today. All right, Gita says decide. Let's go, guys. Let's go with the decide. Awesome. Denise, super specific on your ideal client. Alicia, awesome. Much more detail. Very, very good. 30 to 45, loves nature, works on self-care, has a family, works a successful job making over 50000 Awesome. Now, your homework um, on those ideal clients is to go and figure out what Facebook groups they're hanging out in. When li what LinkedIn groups are they hanging out in? What books? Um, what social media sites are they using? Hopefully you figured that out. And what movies do they watch? What hobbies do they have? And start hanging out in more places with your ideal client. And I'm gonna give you a really cool example. I have a friend who's a coach and she only coaches spiritual entrepreneurs. Not so much in their business, but more in their mindset. So she hangs out in those Facebook groups and provides value, starts conversations and, you know, friend requests. I, I don't want to go too much into that, but I want you to know all of these things about your ideal client and customer. All right, Debbie says decide. I'm still waiting on a couple more decides. If you're catching the replay, hashtag replay, hashtag decide, and that's it for Build Your Authority Challenge Day 1. I'm Suzanne Taylor, the entrepreneur's secret weapon. If you need a secret weapon in your corner, then please reach out to me. Send me a DM. Um, reach out to me on my website, thetailoredconsultingagency.com. And at the end of this challenge, I will be inviting you to take the next step with me. Duh, yes, I have a ton of value to bring to the table and I will be inviting you to that value. And if you're curious about that value and my program that's kicking off June 15th, The Confident Entrepreneur, let me know in the comments and I'll send you some more information on that. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Thanks for being here. Great live. And I want to just say, look at the difference in the participation and the viewers on this live because I put it as an event in the group. I promoted it. I invited people. Just a little FYI. If you're going to do a Facebook Live, let's schedule it ahead of time and invite your people. All right, Denise, thank you. Decide. Roberta says, decide to find clients who want to reverse the signs of aging. Great, Roberta. Awesome. All right, thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10.